In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new slide in Keynote. I've got one of the Property Showcase templates open, and let's say I want to edit it so it reflects a particular property that an agent has to showcase. The first thing I would do in order to protect the integrity of the original Keynote template is to duplicate the file and call it a different name. So we do this by clicking on File, Duplicate, and then you can go ahead and call it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as copy for now. And the next thing I'll do is I'll just click on the original template and close that down without making any changes so I know that the original is always available in the future when I want to use it again. The Property Showcase templates have all been created with master slides and this makes it easy for you to change up the templates according to what the agent wants. And you can see these thumbnails of the master slides here and these are the presentation slides and you can hide or reveal the master slides using this drag function. So let's say we have a property to showcase but we want to add in another section, let's say near the end, but we want it based on slide 2. There's two ways of doing this. One way is to highlight the slide before you want the new slide to appear. So say I want the slide to appear between 7 and 8, I highlight slide 7 and I click on new, add new slide and there's the new slide. At the moment you can see it's, based, it's been based on slide 7 because that's the one I had highlighted when I clicked on the new button. But I can easily change this by going up to masters and I can click on whichever layout I want to use. You can see at the moment it's based on feature 1 because there's a tick here. But I want it to be based on feature 2, so I just click that. And now that slide's changed to be based on the same one as the one slide 2 is based on. And I can now go ahead and edit the text, edit the images and do what I like with it. If I change my mind about which layout I want to use, as long as it's before I've made any changes, you can just go back up to Masters and then pick another layout. OK, so that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is just to simply duplicate the slide that you want the new slide to be based on. So I'm going to Edit, Undo, so I'm back to where we were. So we want a new slide, we want it based on slide 2. So we highlight slide 2 and we left click and we duplicate. So now you've got original slide 2 and copy slide 2. We just need to now drag it into the position where we want it to be. So we can left click and drag down to the correct position and then let go. And you can reorder any of the slides in this way. And then you can just go ahead and edit the images and the text. The difference with doing it this way is if you change your mind about the layout that you want to use, don't um, go ahead and use the masters uh, like we did last time because you're actually working with a duplicate presentation slide and it's going to appear messed up. So the best thing to do is just delete the slide that you created and start the process again, choosing the one that you actually want. And that's how you add in extra slides into the presentation templates.